What are we doing? Comment review. All right. Well, just all the stuff we have coming up, what we're doing, what kind of videos people are going to be seeing here in the future, that kind of stuff. Okay. Need a little, little teaser bit. All and right. For, oh, well, I'll God. start it off, and then I'll hand it over to you. And That's fine. Okay. Ah. Uh, I feel better now. The fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> you were just I feel like screaming. Somebody had a heart attack next door and died. Not next door. Well, down the road. I don't know if it was a heart attack. I don't know. I either. expect foul play. Of course from you would. <laughs> Yeah, but it's kind of sad but getting, I also, uh, having a heart attack while you're getting a haircut. Or were they poisoned? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hi. I am Nate and <laughs> I'm Ryan. And I have we're actually goofy Ryan here. Both here today. Which yes. Is fantastic. Because you guys haven't seen us both on camera in a while. So, at the same time. At the same time. Ryan says I've been hogging the camera. Yes. So. <laughs> We gave him some more camera time. Yeah. But we've been having a lot of fun lately, though. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the main reason why we're doing this for you guys is because we have a lot of fun stuff coming up this year. And we haven't sat down, me and Nate, and done a podcast to like tell you all the fun things that we have, spirit fingers, uh, coming on this year that we're trying to do. So uh, first things that we want to kind of go over is that actually tomorrow... Today is February, what, 24th? Tomorrow, we are actually leaving to go to Duracoat. Duracoat. Yeah, super excited about this. We're getting an opportunity to tour the facility, and we're making a video about it. Um, our friends Sean and Skyler from Conservative Guns and Armor will be joining us, and we're super excited about it. Um, it's it's going to be epic, and uh, oh yeah. Well, we hope to come back with some even better news after we go there. Hopefully, yeah. We're going to get to tour the facility. Uh, Miss Amy is the uh, president and the owner of Duracoat, and she, you know, invited us out. And we went out there, and we're going to go out there and try and get some some cool content for you guys, and do like kind of like a vlog style video, and you'll get to watch the journey. So look for that in the future. But one thing that everyone is really excited about, on two ends, is the next video that we have coming out is going to be a day in the life video because I feel that people don't understand exactly what the dynamic is here from day to day and it's mainly we're idiots. Well yeah it's just like any other shop but <laughs> more fun. We, we are fairly, we're really fun. Yeah I, well I think number one we just have an awesome team here you know from the back to the front and the front to the back we uh, we have a blast and um, you know we, we like to keep things lighthearted around here and there is a plethora of jokes and uh, and stuff that we cannot say on YouTube and other things <laughs> that we might get canceled for so we won't say them out loud but <laughs> we have a good time here and um, we've uh, we've been kicking butt and having a good time at we the have. same time and it's so. thanks to you guys because a ton of you guys that watch the channel and watch our shorts are amazing and we've gotten so many people that have literally lived what like 10 minutes down the road from us yeah that have been watching us for like months and then i think we might have mentioned <clears> that we're in georgia in one of our videos and they looked us up and they're like holy crap you guys are like 10 minutes away yeah i, th I think that's, that's really cool in the last um three or four weeks our channel has almost doubled again in subscribership yep. And, you know, we went from having 2,500 to 5,000 and then 5,000 to 10,000 and then to 25,000. And we're almost at 50 as almost we speak there. now. We're, I think we're pretty close to 46,000 right close now. To, we're closing in on 46. And it's still thanks to you guys because without you guys watching the shorts and, like, commenting and liking the videos and stuff, we wouldn't be anywhere where we're at right now, which is, which is awesome. So thank you guys tremendously. And, and the other awesome thing that's happened is like we we have customers coming into the store like you won't believe what happened to me at this gun store like you guys should make a short about it and yes. we're getting ideas from our viewers from our customers um so we can keep this going and i think it's pretty cool the the amount of people who have come into the shop in the last three or four oh, weeks yeah. saying that they saw us on youtube and they had no idea that we were so close by um, we even had a, a couple drive from Dallas, Georgia. Dallas, Rome. Uh, Rome, Rome, Georgia. Rome, Georgia. Um, 
it has been absolutely epic and we really appreciate all of you and um, we thank you for coming by and not being scared to come in here uh, <laughs> because we definitely get some of those too who are afraid to come in here because they don't want to get made fun of and we definitely don't intend to make fun of all of our customers, you know. No, it, no, it's it's fun because we have customers that come here like, hey, I saw your video. I'm gonna make sure I do everything the right way whenever I come in here. And, and it's it's funny because we we both laugh whenever people come in there and they say that. And it's fun because those are some of the best customers because yeah. they come in, they've seen the channel, they see what we do, and they uh, get to experience us in person, which is really cool. <laughs> the other guy, uh, the other day, that guy that came in and he was like, was that me? Was that short about me? <laughs> I can't remember who it was now, but that was that was so funny. And yeah, it's it's been epic and we really appreciate your support, guys. Here, here's something cool. Our YouTube channel grew so much, so to the point that we are now considered a monetized channel. Yeah, uh, of course, we fantastic. haven't gotten any money yet, but you know that's that's the intent we're we're trying to push the channel trying to become yes. bigger trying to bring you better content and improving the quality of our content as we go along oh yeah because all the stuff that we get monetization wise we want to put back into the channel so we can go and do some more crazy stuff which we have planned and uh it's it's just really cool because not just that like one of the other videos that we have coming up here shortly if you guys have seen some of the shorts that we've posted here recently um we worked with uh, dawson county sheriff's department and I got arrested, which was awesome. Um, <laughs> it was funny. We great had experience doing that. We had people in so. the parking lot staring. They kept um, driving by. They well, there's two entrances to our parking lot. Yeah. And like one is wide open, and you can go out that. Every single person was seeing me like on the hood of a car, and they were driving by like real slow, like all like, what's going on over there? That's and, funny. And we had a guy that stopped. And was like, everything all right over here? And I'm like, oh yeah, we're good. We're just filming for uh, for our YouTube channel. And uh, it was it was hilarious. It's, we got some nosy people, but it was fun. For sure. It For was sure. really fun. Well, to um, to tie it back to what I was saying, um, you know, our channel grew, has grown so much, and it's really thanks to you. And um, we've had people ask us about T-shirts and hats and things of that nature. And so we've actually created a merch store yep. um, uh, through Spreadshop, and it's available right on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to the homepage of the King of Camo, um, go all the way over to the right and you'll see a little tab that says store and uh, you can check out the designs that we have and we have everything from hats to mugs to bags to shirts to hoodies to oh, yeah. shorts to pants you name it there's all kinds of cool stuff on there and uh, you can even customize it even further um, if you want, you can put your name on there and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And if you guys have any design ideas for something that you would see, want to see on a shirt, you can comment down below on any one of our videos. And, you know, me and Nate check the comments and we interact with people. And if you have a cool idea, you never know. It might turn into a shirt. Yep. Um, so. You know, a lot of people have been asking us about these, uh, these tech mats yep. that we have here at the shop especially the ones of the SMC, the Hellbreaker, the Lever Gun, and the, uh, the Warhammer. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, maybe we gotta find a way to make that available to you. Yeah, people. that'd be cool, because these mats are awesome, and you guys, and it's thanks to you guys, because the guys, everyone that goes on and likes all the videos and likes our, all of our stuff on Instagram, the most liked pictures that we post, or videos that we post, these are the ones that turn into the guns, you know? Yeah. So. Well, so, um, you know, we're addressing all of you, uh, all of you who support us and appreciate our time um, that we put into these videos for you. Um, but uh, Ryan had an idea that we should I go did. through the comments and uh, what you see, maybe, maybe, which Nate, which Nate is so excited about. Maybe <laughs> read a couple of these brilliant <laughs> comments that we get in the uh, oh, comment section of man. our videos. It's, so where it's do you want wonderful. to start, Ryan? Well, I'm going to start uh, with probably the most recent one. And that's going to be, uh, they won't give me my gun back. The one that we just posted. And, you know, if you guys haven't seen this, when we post this, it'll probably be later on. If you go back and look at our shorts, this is the short that we did where a guy comes in, wants to get his transfer process, does the paperwork and stuff, but he gets put on a hold from the NICS system. So we wanted to maybe talk about what that entails and what people can do and what we like to do because everyone's different. Yep. So, yep. but we got to tell you exactly what you're supposed to do per the law because we have to follow the law. <laughs> we can't just like do whatever the hell we want. That's but, exactly right. You know, we, uh, 
we don't make up our own rules. Um, unfortunately, that's not not how it works in a civilized society. So, right, um, we we do have to follow a certain set of rules. And yes, there are certain policies that we have here in the shop that um, people may not necessarily like. But you know what? Well, let me let me just throw this to you. I'll be I'll we'll, we'll role play for a second. So if I'm coming in to another store and I'm wanting to buy a gun that day, or I'm getting a transfer in Georgia, right? There's not like any like extended waiting period, except if you're under 21, right? Like if you're between 18 and 21 trying to buy a gun. But if you're over 21, there's no waiting period. If you have your license and background check is done, you get a proceed, you get it that same day, like right then and there, right? Mm -hmm. For the most part. For the most part. Now, what is kind of our reasoning and our policy behind what we did in the short? Well, you know, we had a customer. Th th this, this is based on a real customer interaction. So, so the customer had purchased a gun at Palmetto State Armory, got a great deal on it, and had it shipped to our shop as a transfer. So when he came in and filled out his paperwork, um, you know, the paperwork was fine. But uh, when we ran everything in the back, we got a hold. Now, um, the way it worked out, um, you know, a... a a hold can can be anywhere between three to five days. I've seen it longer than that. Well, yeah, like we've had a guy <clears> that had to wait like 14 days on a hold. Like we had, it was process, it was processing for 14 days, but out on the 14th day, we had the discretion if we wanted to, we can give them the firearm, right? Yeah. So it it varies. It, it can vary depending on who you are. It could vary depending on what your name is, if you if you put down information, maybe you have a specific U-PIN ID or whatever it can be different. And I there's a lot of people I don't think understand too why some people are on holds or why it gets put on a hold. And you, can you explain some of the- Oh, definitely. Some of the reasons behind well, why? Well, I mean, what we ended up discovering later on about this particular gentleman was that he had kind of a shady past. And so, you know, when, when the FBI receives this, they're going to investigate right. if you have any pending crimes, right? They're, they look at these things, they can see these things. Right. And so for that reason, depending on what they're being charged with, right, they may put them on a hold because it may require further investigation. Right, and not everything's judged the same. I mean, one guy could be put on a hold because maybe he's on trial or he's got a charge pending for, oh, I don't know, aggravated assault with a weapon or like a bank robbery or something like that. It could be something as severe as that or it could be something as severe as he's waiting a pending trial for like, what? Un speed, unpaid like parking unpaid tickets. Unpaid parking tickets or something yep. like that. Um, so. <laughs> and that's a total possibility. So, so, you know, for us as an FFL, okay, yeah, maybe if, if they tell us that they, we require an approval um, within a certain time frame, if that time frame has elapsed, it's to our discretion as right. to whether or not we can give the gun to the customer. Right. Um, personally, it's my choice mm -hmm. that we do not give the gun away until we get an answer. Right, but that's your, but that's you, what you set forth as a policy for just us here. Yeah. That does not apply to everybody else. Everybody else is different when it comes to their discretion yeah. in this situation. But Nate's policy, and it's just it's just because it's it's, it's for, just from experience. It's just from our experience. It's that just we've from had. experience because um, I've seen it, it never happened to me, but I've seen it happen to. Uh, a fellow gun store mm -hmm. where they did give the gun, they chose to give the gun to the customer um, because the wait period had elapsed. They still had not received a response mm -hmm. from the FBI in the NICS system, but they opted to allow that person to exercise their freedoms, their right, and mm -hmm. they didn't have a policy against you know that I mean they're not required the F the FFL once that date has elapsed they are not required to hold that any longer. No, they can they give, can it, give they it, can it away. Give it. Yeah, but we have a conscience, and if there's a reason somebody's on a hold for that long, mm -hmm. something is amiss. 
Right. Right? Something's not right. And um, we've seen in this previous instance where that person had taken that gun and committed a crime with it. Right. So, well, you're going to have people that are going to be in the comments. They're like, well, no, you're infringing on their rights or their Second Amendment rights. What are you doing? What are you I doing? I mean, I what totally get it. And if you don't like the policy, there are plenty of other gun stores around here where you can get your gun transferred to, and they'll likely give it to you. Um, but uh, that's not to say that we're not pro Second Amendment because, I mean, guys, if you want a cannon, I'll help you build a cannon. But when it comes down to it, even in another situation, let's think about it from this this light some dude walks in and he might have a completely clean past but let's just say he's in something shady right now like he's he looks a way about him like he he looks like he's depressed or the way he's been talking whenever i've had a conversation with him like he just seems out of source and he wants to buy a gun mm -hmm. and at that point it's even I like when i'm in that conversation with him i'm asking questions asking why he's wanting to buy it and everything because you want to be careful of straw purchases and stuff like that but if this guy is giving me red flags as to why he's buying the gun, like he's pissed off or he seems angry or he seems or like depressed. out of sorts or depressed or something like that. I, again, from my conscious perspective, and I think it would be from yours too, I don't want to get like sell this guy a gun right now. I mean, I would love for him to exercise his rights, but I have no idea. If he's pissed off and angry and mad, if I sell this guy a gun and then he goes off and does something unspeakable with it, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back to us and then it's just... It, it unlocks an entire can of worms, and then I have that on my conscience because I sold the guy a gun, guy, girl, girl who. Well, I mean, I, I'll ask you this question. Guy comes in and says, I need a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. And you say, sure, man. Is that going to be your new daily carry? And he says, no, I'm going to shoot somebody with it. You yeah. going to sell him that gun? Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. You gonna sell him that gun? I mean, he has the right to buy that gun. He does. He has absolutely the right. He has to buy the right that gun. to buy that gun. But the way that he's talking, would you be able to live with yourself? No, of course not. If you had sold him that gun just so that no. he could exercise his right, no, I don't care. I don't care. You can go to another gun store. And that get, doesn't care. <clears throat> they, you know, you can go to another gun store and get your gun transferred there. That's totally fine. That's just our policy on that because. Right. We've look how many how many times have we had to do that? Once. One time, I once. think. In the in the four years we've been operating at this location, we've only had to do that one time. Right. One time. So it doesn't happen often. Right. But when it does happen, you know, that's that's just my policy. Well, and we and, want to be conscious about that. And like you, like you said, it doesn't happen often. It no. doesn't. And because a lot of the customers that we have are freaking amazing. And, you know, they're, they're law-abiding citizens and everything. And that's another thing, too. If you guys don't like something that's happening in the world today or you don't like the restrictions being put on the Second Amendment, you know, we are just a business. Now, we can, we're advocates for the 2A community because we want you guys to own firearms. And we want you to do it responsibly and safely. And if you have questions, you can ask us. I mean, a plethora of things. But we are not lawmakers. No. And we're you definitely know. not lawyers either. No, we're not. So we can't give you legal advice on what to do. And we, we can't change the law like a stamp of approval like right here on the table. So if you guys are upset about something, you can voice that in the comments down below. That's totally fine. But just know that we can't make a change, but you can make a change by voting for people that support the Second Amendment. And that's yeah. what we do, right? And, and, so. and, and just to add to that point, like we totally welcome the comments. Absolutely. Even, even the ones that completely disagree with us. But comments that are disrespectful, that yeah. don't really produce real proper um, conversation. Yeah, like a good dialogue. Dialogue, you know, <clears throat> It's pointless. You're wasting your time then. Because you're you know, if you're trying to convince the two of us of something, it's not gonna work when you start off, hey stupid MF idiot. Right. You know, like um, there's a way to respectfully talk to people and get your point across. And I find that for example, the binary short that we did. Right. Um, we, we upset some trans people with that video, and it was never our intent to do that. But it wasn't, and it was really poking fun at the ATF for making that a thing, but at the same time, there were people in the comments that legitimately talked like a normal person to us that were trans yeah, or, or part of the community. Yeah, there's one comment in particular. 
that was by a trans person and um, they said, you know, like, hey, I watch your channel and I really like you guys, but I wish you would, um, you know, this is kind of out of left field and I feel a little insulted. And I just took a second and I was like, wow, that's, you know, thank you for taking the time to make that comment and okay, a little self-reflection. Maybe we ought to th really think our videos through before we just go out there and put one out, um, thinking we're poking fun at the ATF, not realizing that we're actually, you know, uh, possibly offending some people, which is not our intent ever. Right. You know, um, I think we've talked about this before, you know, whether you're gay, straight, trans, bi, I don't care, you know, any, any of the combinations. Um, as long as you're not trying to force your opinion on somebody else and you are just a genuinely nice person and you're still an American citizen, you can exercise your rights all the live long day. We don't care what color of yep, we can whatever to, you are. It doesn't, can, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we can go to the same Walmart and we can go to the same Home Depot and we can drive on the same roads and shop at the same shops and we can even be respectful to one another. Right, but that's the thing, right? Being respectful. Like that person talked to us in a very respectful way yeah. and we had a great dialogue yeah. back and forth with that person. And it ended up being a great, a great conversation. But that's what we talk about when we talk about the difference. When you come at somebody, and it doesn't even have to be us, there's some people that are in the comments that are attacking other people in kind of just a really mean way. And we don't, we're not about that. And if we see you do that, we're, we're gonna just cut it down right there because we don't want people feeling like, you know, they can't come onto our channel and have an engaging conversation if they're gonna be talked down to. Yeah, I mean, I, so. I know we, we try to keep everything very family friendly for the most part, obviously, you know. We try. We, we try, <laughs> um, we really do. And, and like my kids watch the channel, my, my nieces and nephews watch the channel. So, um, you know, they, I'm certain that they probably get into the comments and then come across some of these comments thinking, well, what does that mean? Or, you know, like just, mm -hmm. there's some outrageous comments in there, guys. Like curb yourselves a little and be more respectful, please. Because like Ryan said, we're gonna cut it out. We're, what I've started to do, Ryan, is, uh, I don't know if you know this, but there's this awesome little feature on YouTube as a, a channel administrator. You can hide a user from your channel. They're still, a subscriber, they can still watch your videos, and whenever they comment, nobody sees it but them. Um, and that's what we're gonna start doing to people who have nothing but negative stuff to say in a disrespectful way. You can say negative things, let's say them respectfully. If you disagree right. with us, or if you disagree with the topic at hand, tell us why, we wanna hear it. Yeah, voice your opinion. We wanna hear it. Um, That's the whole reason for the comment section. What's your opinion? Do it respectfully. Right. Um, let, let's pull up a couple of examples of very silly comments, uh, just to give, just to give people an idea. You know, like last week we had uh, twenty three hundred and seventy six, I think, new comments. <laughs> that is a lot of comments to go through, and we want to read all your comments and we want to reply to all of you, uh, but when. People are making some of the comments we've seen. Um, it's just very silly. And then people, you're right, people are attacking each other in the comments. Right. And, and straying completely away from the topic at hand, and then it becomes a personal attack on one another. Like, guys, you don't have anything better to do? <laughs> I appreciate you warring on our YouTube channel and helping our algorithm, but <laughs> well, that's, one thing. that's garbage. One thing to hit on here on um, one of the video, the wrong way to buy a gun privately when, you know, Skylar tried to sell me uh, not what I wanted out of the back of his trunk. Yes. Um, on that, we got guys that are saying like, oh, it's staged AF or, you know, or they'll say that or whatever, or they'll be like, this isn't real or whatever it happens. Guys, a lot of the stuff that we do is based upon real things that have happened to either me or Nate or an interaction that we've had in the store. Yeah, so the, I think the only one, <laughs> the only one that we have done that isn't based on something real that we've experienced, was the the binary short. Right. Right. Um, but but we were again mainly poking at the ATF form. Right. Um, yeah, because it's on the new form. If you don't know that, but one of the things is we, we've seen this a lot. Like a lot of you guys, I don't know, are taking the shorts like very literally. It's satire. We yeah. exaggerate for comedy purposes. 
And yes, it is staged. <laughs> it's, it's not like, I mean, if you think we get this kind of camera value out of like a real life event, I mean, I thank you for that. I, mean, that's a, I guess that's a compliment. But yes, it is staged. It's not, it's not alive and like happening right then and there. Um, but again, when you look at it, when you look at the shorts on the channel, we love a lot of the comments because a lot of them are supportive. But yeah. At the same time, again, just know it's a skit. Yeah, there's, um, <laughs> well, you know, we recently did one, um, uh, the skits that you were um, talking about earlier with um, Sergeant Blackstock of the Dawson oh, County the Sheriff's Office. Sheriff's yep. Office. And um, that was, that was man, fun. big shout out to the Dawson County Sheriff's Office. We had a Office. fun day that day. We really appreciate y'all letting um, Sergeant Blackstock come and play with us. We had a we that had sounded, a good time. Weird. That sounded dirty. Why did well, you say it that we, way? We, didn't, we weren't we weren't <laughs> playing like that, but we, we were playing like we play here, which is goofing off and making fun videos. Um, but it was a good day because not only did we come at it from like you know how we usually are, right? You know, with our personalities and stuff, but we actually covered a pretty it was kind of a serious topic. Yeah. But we did it in our way that was kind of lighthearted and fun. But we think it whenever the video drops, go check it out. We think it'll be fun because not a whole lot of people know about what exactly you're supposed to do in a traffic stop, especially if you have a firearm in the car. So go check the video out when you see it. But some of the comments were hilarious. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so we, we did we did a short with Sergeant Blackstock called the Secret Handcuff Key Surprises Sergeant Blackstock. And um, when we showed him the next belt with the handcuff key, he was genuinely blown away. And he's like, we right. need to make a short about that because that's something I've never seen. Right. And um, so so we did. And, but the guys in the comments are like, oh, that's not actually going to work. No cop's going to uh, cuff your hands in front of you. They're going to cuff behind you. Right. You know what like, Devin did as soon as he saw that comment? He went back and he's like, watch me. And he, <laughs> he tucked his knees in and just... Put his arms up underneath, and then yeah. his handcuffs were in front. Yeah. Um, so if you're not a fatty, fat, fat like me, you could probably do yeah, I've that. Yeah, got a belly. But yeah, if you're skinny, you could probably do that. But some of the other ones were like, it was weird because you're kind of outing yourself a little bit. With some of the other comments were like, why would you say so? Why would you show him something like that? You're just giving the cops more of a reason to do whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, guys, you know this is a you, this is a public product. You can go on Xbelt's website. It's not like it's it's hidden. It's not like we custom made it to try and like circumnavigate the police force. Yeah, it's um, you can buy this on their website. There's a there's a there's a name here that I recognize. Um, always making some pretty, pretty good comments, and then sometimes kind of not so good comments. But uh, Death Reaper 100 says, make sure there's no acorns around. Um, we get that. That's topical. That's, we understand. That's definitely a good one there. We pre we appreciate that kind of comment. And uh, not some of your other comments uh, <laughs> that you've made before, but anyway, um, yeah, man. There's there's a there's a lot of really cool people in the comments, though. There's people who really take the time to to oh, write yeah. something heartfelt, um, and and just so you guys know, we we read all the comments. We tell each other that we're not going to. Well. I told Nate that we don't need to respond to all of the comments, but we do read all the comments because we genuinely do want to like hear what you guys have to say. And we just, you know, we still have to work here at the shop and everything, and we, we, we don't get a chance to, you know, respond to everybody or like everything that we want to like on the page because some of y'all love some of the shorts and they take off, and then there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments. Yeah, and can't we, even keep up. We with try. Them. We really do. We try to keep up. But absolutely. Well, uh, good deal. I think, um, you know, we don't really have to read all these comments. I'm sure you guys see them yourselves. But go check them out. Yeah, go check them out. And uh, if, you, uh, if you feel the need to uh, make a comment, please, please uh, be respectful. Disagree all you want. I respect the witty comments. If you got like a witty, fun joke, I, I really appreciate that. You're definitely going to need a like for me. If you post a nice, yeah, I, I like the like light-hearted, funny comments. Um, uh, there, there's a lot of people with uh, really witty comments that and really make me laugh. Yeah, um, it's it's pretty awesome. But um, yeah, anything else we want to talk about today, Ryan? Well, not really, except for well, we do have we have a big event coming up in April. Yeah, that that's... I, that we haven't really hit on yet, and I feel like we need to let everybody know what's happening. The Dega Games. The Dega Games are happening. 
Yes, the Dega games. Well, and if you don't know what the Dega games are, uh, I don't know that they've done the Dega games before, but... Um, no, so this is what's happening. The King of Camo and uh, the Dega Boys YouTube channel, we are collaborating because Nate's a car guy. He's a motorcycle guy. I'm a gun guy, but I like cars. I like going, I like going to races. And we have thought up an idea where we're going to have a week-long competition between us and them. And maybe a surprise third party. We'll leave that for the nebulous. Um, but the whole point of it is, is to have a fun, collaborative event where we compete against each other on different days, different challenges that are geared towards either us or them. And it's going to culminate at Talladega. We are spending the entire time camping in the infield and we'll be there for the main race on Sunday. And so, it's going yeah, to be a blast. And, and we're going to have like a five part video series that we will try to edit and post along the way so that, right. you, so that you can watch the videos pretty close to uh, when they're happening. We might um, go live a lot of the time while we're down there too, you know, so we'll try and hit that up. So keep a look on the lives, you know. But basically, you know, this is, this is just a way for two YouTube channels to collaborate, to um, um, uh, get our viewers to check out each other's channels. And if you haven't checked out the Dega Boys before, they're a, um, a, a YouTube channel that broadcasts sim racing. They also have some amazing crash compilations that they've put together on their channel. They have an excellent podcast, uh, an awesome merch store, and it's run by a couple of dudes who are just so down to earth and so into racing. And they have, uh, you know, as an avid racing fan, and, and, and I shouldn't say avid because I, I haven't really watched a whole lot of racing in the last couple of years like I used to, uh, but Formula One, NASCAR, IndyCar, um, you know, Pirelli World Challenge. Oh, yeah. these, these are all things that I love to watch. And um, uh, they, they broadcast all of these races. And uh, they, they also broadcast sim racing races in iRacing. Right. <clears throat> and if you don't know, iRacing is, is like the most elite online um, racing simulator platform. Uh, actual uh, Formula One car drivers, NASCAR drivers use iRacing in the off season or to yep. learn a new track. Um, and they set it up with an actual racing wheel and chassis and everything. And, it's pretty. Um, it's pretty in depth. Yeah. So, so the Dega Boys really have it going on. Their channel is growing tremendously, and uh, we love we love the guys over there. They are um, great customers and friends of ours. Oh yeah. And uh, so we're. This is going to be a fun little trip where we, oh, we yeah. kind of go um, have a competition. And, uh, and then watch the race, and you guys will get to tag along, kind of vlog style, um, and be able to experience our goofiness um, but also too, in its fullness. If you live nearby the shop the week of the games, one day during the event, the games will start on Tuesday of the week of Talladega. So Talladega happens like the weekend of like the 20th, during the week of April, one of those weekends. That Tuesday during the week is the start of the games. And if you live nearby here in the area, you can come and actually see the first day of the games. We are going to Atlanta Motorsports Park. Yep. And we're going to be racing go-karts that go 55 miles an hour, flying downhill, reserve private track. If you want to come see us and support us, hashtag Team TKOC, because we're the best and we're going to try. Nate's going to probably have to carry me that day because I can't drive worth a crap. <sighs> but going to have to get Ryan on I racing tonight. But it's going to be a blast and it's going to be super fun because that day is dedicated kind of towards Bobby and or Thomas and the Dega Boys channel and trying to uh, see if we can keep pace and get some points that day to go into the next day, which is going to be a range day, which is our wheelhouse. Yeah. We got some cool shooting competitions planned out and then we got Talladega experience. So you guys will be there and we're going to showcase everything and it's going to be a blast and we hope that you guys, if you do live in the area, come see us on Tuesday and cheer Absolutely. us on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys for watching today. We really appreciate you. We appreciate you helping us get to 46,000 uh, uh, subscribers and counting every single day. Thank you for the love. We appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. We'll see ya. Awesome. Yeah. That was good. That was really good. 
It's right in time. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself.